The industry of space commerce and exploration experienced a few setbacks this weekend. News Nation's Felicia Bolton joins us from the newsroom with details about the outcome of a Virgin Galactica test flight. Hey, Felicia. Hey, guys. All right, so here it goes. This was the first flight from Virgin Galactic Spaceport in southern New Mexico. However, the spacecraft itself didn't get much height today. Take a look for yourself. The company says the spacecraft's rocket motors failed to ignite after it was released from the special carrier jet. If everything had worked out according to plan today, the spacecraft would have reached the edge of space. Instead, two pilots glided it down to Earth and safely landed. There was NASA cargo on board, but no passengers. It's still unclear when the next test flight will be. And we're still waiting to find out if a SpaceX rocket was damaged after the standing hold, the stand hold that was helping it collapsed. It appears the housing structure surrounding the SN9 Starship stopped it from falling to the ground in Texas yesterday. SpaceX says this rocket is one of the prototypes that could eventually send people to Mars in as little as six years. It was set to take off sometime next week, but now it's unclear if that launch will happen because of the collapse. And this happened just two days after its predecessor, the SN8, exploded while returning to the launch pad during the test flight. The shiny, bullet-shaped, unmanned starship blasted several miles into the air over Texas on Wednesday before its fiery return. The explosion was reportedly caused by an issue with the fueling system that caused the rocket to slam into the ground and explode. Here's some good news. No one was hurt in this. While it appears American companies are still trying to figure out the kinks of commercial space travel, one thing is for sure. There's plenty of interest in it. More than 600 people from around the world have already purchased tickets for Virgin Galactic's space flights. They will be able to experience weightlessness and view the Earth from below at a cost of $250,000 a ticket.